Memory lane takes a stroll through financial history because the economy has a funny habit of repeating itself. Buzz, recession or not is the hot debate after the widely watched U.S. gross domestic product fell in back-to-back -back quarters. It's only the 11th time such consecutive contractions have occurred since 1949. Except there's a historical bet in the data, the year's first half job growth easily exceeded that seen in the previous 10 double dips. Source, my trusty spreadsheet compared the average economic performance in these 11, 6-month periods with double dips in GDP, a broad measure of the nation's economic output, adjusted for inflation. We looked at GDP, unemployment, job growth wage increases, for goods making workers, and inflation by the Consumer Price Index, all using annualized changes. Yes, 2022's first half and its what you call it saw two GDP dips averaging 1.3% annual declines. Yes, double dips do fit one definition of recession. Fueling the declines were several factors, including the end of many of the pandemic's economic stimulus programs, the Federal Reserve chilling and overheated business climate, consumers and corporations adjusting to high energy prices, and certain industries pulling back as spending patterns morph. However, let's note we've had no decision from the official arbiters of U recessions. That's a group of private industry analysts from the National Bureau of Economic Research who'll review a wide range of business stats in the coming months. So, let's look at 2022's whatchamacallit with history-colored glasses. You'll see common themes such as inflation, international tensions tied to energy, rising interest rates and the pandemic. We also learned that this year's economy, January through June, suffered a mild stumble compared with 10 other periods of consecutive GDP contractions. Let's take a stroll down memory lane and the previous 10 double dips. Portions of these dips were eventually deemed part of an official recession, 1949, the end of the post-World War II spending boom ended with two consecutive GDP drops averaging three. 4% annual declines. These six months saw 5. 3% average unemployment and job losses at a 1% year-over-year pace. Wages were rising at a 7.7% 7. 7 annual rate versus inflation at a mere 0. 5%. 1953, the Korean Wars in slowed the economy to a 4. 1% GDP dip with 3. 2% unemployment and 1. 8% job growth. Raises, 6. 6%. Inflation, 0. 7%.